So here I've got a Sony Bravia HD TV that I'm going to attempt to repair today. Usually with these kind of image problems you could easily assume that the fault is somewhere inside the panel or inside the TCON board, but after doing a little bit of research on the internet, I found a very helpful advice on one of the forums and basically somebody suggested to look into the uh, inductor arrays uh, that are located right under the LVDS connector, so they're basically installed in the LVDS signal path uh, and they are used to filter out some kind of high frequency noise um, at least from what I understood and basically if one of them got damaged or one of them is faulty then that mean that would explain a lot that would cause exactly this type of problem uh, because the main processor is sending a signal into the TCON board and uh, the signal is split into several channels and each of them goes through these little inductor lines so basically if one of the channels is blocked if it's carrying some type of color then obviously the TCON board it sends that corrupted data into the panel and that's why you get all this distortion um, so these elements are SMD components they're pretty easy to test, uh, all you need is a multimeter um, and what I'm gonna do is test it for continuity, test each channel here and see if there is high resistance in any of them because if there is something like more than just a few ohms then that means that the inductor channel is faulty and the signal is not passing through anymore. So after testing each of these elements and each of the four channels inside the uh, inductors, I have found at least three of them that are faulty. So I think this is pretty much a good sign that uh, that is exactly what was causing the problem. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna replace these faulty element these faulty inductor arrays with uh, with the ones from a donor board that I have right here uh, this board was taken from another TV but uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, as I, as you can see these particular components are identical and I've already tested them they are fully working so I'm just gonna replace the faulty ones with with the new ones and hopefully that will solve the problem okay so as you can see there is some good news and bad news and the good news is we got rid of most of the distortion so now the screen is quite stable however the bad news is that there's still two vertical lines present and this is something that I still have to solve at this point it's starting to look like the problem is either in the TCON board or in the panel itself and you know first thing I did is I checked the cable that is running from the main board into the TCON board, you know, made sure that there is no damaged wires. Um, I also looked and checked that the surrounding elements on the connectors are not missing, you know, that there's no broken resistors or inductors anymore. So after that, I decided to just take a panel and open it up you know, see if there is maybe a problem with the ribbon cables that are kind of soldered to the glass. Sometimes they come loose 
um, they get a bit separated and it's not you know noticeable with naked eye so you just kind of press it down onto the glass a bit harder and then the image you know stabilizes and the artifacts disappear um, so I wanted to test if that was the case uh, so I opened up the panel you know I wiggled the cables a little bit uh, I tried to press them down on the panel a little bit more and you know see if anything changed but it really didn't make any difference and so at this point it, it was getting really difficult to know what was really causing the issue as a last resort I decided to just take out the teak on board and reflow it on my self-made uh, reflow machine and so I basically heated it up to around 230 degrees um, for like five minutes So as it turns out, on top of the faulty inductor arrays, there was also an issue with the T-Con board and not the panel as I had originally assumed. And I can safely come to a conclusion that after heating up the T-Con board, it has resoldered the solder joints under the large processor chips and that what that is what has fixed the vertical line issue. Um, so basically it's a fairly easy solution uh, ideally I would order a new T-Con board it's only like 30 bucks on Aliexpress so that shouldn't be a big problem but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this and I think this has been a kind of a successful fix and uh, also it's a great example of how you could have two different faults inside the TV on, on two different boards and not just one specific board. So hopefully this video was helpful to somebody and thank you for watching.